Is the Mavic Mini a good first drone? Stick around and find out. Hi, this is Bill with Titletown Drones, and this is the DJI Mavic Mini. This little drone was released uh, about a week ago. There's been a lot of excitement about it because it has some new features and it's incredibly small. It has a very high definition video for its size and probably the best drone in its class. What makes this so special, that weight, 249 grams. A lot has been made about that because that is the weight limit cutoff that the FAA requires you to register your drone. So when you hit 250 grams or over, you have to register the drone with the FAA. Uh, this one comes in at two, 249 grams. Therefore, if you're operating as a hobbyist, you do not need to register this drone. You can if you want to, but it's not required. However, if you are going to be used this for commercial purposes, you're gonna sell the photographs, you're gonna monetize your videos, you've now uh, reverted to a commercial pilot, Therefore, you would have to register it. So the weight really makes no difference in that case. But it's not just about the weight. It's about its size, its, its portability, and the fact that it's a very feature-rich drone for, for the size. Uh, folding up uh, the arms like this, you can get this into a really uh, compact little package. And just have a look. It's, uh, it's really no bigger than your smartphone. It's really compact. It would be something that you could easily fit into your camera bag and take along. The, the photographers always say the best camera that you have is the camera that you have with you. So this clearly would be a very small portable drone that you could take along. The remote controller, um, I've got this one set up with a um, iPad mini on here, but this is actually designed to work with your smartphone. So this is the remote controller. And as you can see, uh, it's pretty small and the little legs on the bottom just fold out and when you open that up your smartphone will fit in there and then there's a cable on the side that plugs in. This bracket allows you to use a larger tablet like an iPad mini. That's an attractive thing for a lot of people, especially uh, people like me who's in their late 50s and your eyes have trouble tracking on a small phone. Uh, so you get a larger screen and the same features as you would with your phone. And then that just fits in there like that. And then you just plug the cable into the side like that. One of the things that makes this aircraft so attractive is its long flight time. It's rated at approximately 30 minutes. Those flight times can vary quite a bit based on the environment. If it's a windy day, for example, or how aggressively you're flying. So there's your, your battery. It la uh, merely latches right into the back there like that, snaps in. There's room back here for a micro SD card. The power switch is here. And the propellers, as you can see, are uh, actually consist of a, a two-piece setup here with uh, screws to hold them on. Um, I assume this was all done to conserve weight so that uh, they could get this drone in at that 249 gram weight. This aircraft uh, has some Features on the front that uh, are similar to the full-size Mavics. That is where the obstacle avoidance sensors are on the full-size Mavic. This does not have obstacle avoidance, so that is something we have to give up to get into that weight class. But we have a three-axis gimbal, which is pretty amazing for an aircraft in this class. Uh, the camera is rated at 12 megapixels and 2.7K video. That video is buttery smooth. You'll see some demos um, that I'm flying here today and uh, it's very impressive. The drone that this really is meant to replace, I believe, is the Spark and the Spark's camera really is only a two axis uh, gimbal. So you don't have quite the smoothness when you're rotating on the yaw axis like this with that camera. So this is, uh, got uh, dampening and mobility features on all three axes. Sensors on the bottom are optical sensors. 
that's how the aircraft knows how close it is to the ground and it uh, actually kicks in when you get close to the surface to settle it in for a very nice and smooth landing. It is GPS and compass controlled so it does have a navigation system that provides that stability and it works very well. Uh, I just took a test flight. I was able to go uh, five or six hundred feet away with no interruption in my uh, service with my video but uh, it's a windy day here today. It's about well about 10 or 12 mile an hour wind some gusts uh, up to 15 or so and this tiny little aircraft had no trouble with that. So pretty amazing for its size. So there you have the Mavic Mini.